Subscribe to America Today News for the latest updates on health, science, and breaking stories that matter to you. I am Jack and today we're diving into a chilling story that's buzzing across the nation, literally. The so-called kissing bug is spreading rapidly in the United States, bringing with it the deadly Chagas disease. Once thought to be confined to Latin America, this parasitic nightmare is now knocking on doors in over 30 states, from California to Florida, and even as far north as Pennsylvania. In this special report, we'll break down everything you need to know, what Chagas disease is, its symptoms, the growing risks here in the US, prevention tips, and much more. We've researched extensively using the latest data from the CDC, WHO, and recent studies to bring you the facts. Stay tuned, this could be closer to home than you think. Let's start with the basics. What exactly is a kissing bug? Scientifically known as triatamine bugs, these insects earned their romantic-sounding nickname because they tend to bite people on the face, often around the mouth or eyes, while they sleep. Don't let the name fool you, these bugs are anything but affectionate. They measure about half an inch to an inch long, with a cone-shaped head, wings, and a striped pattern on their abdomen. There are over 11 species native to the U.S., including Triadoma sanguisuga in the eastern states and Triadoma protracta in the west. To their nocturnal feeders, sucking blood like vampires, but the real danger comes from what they leave behind, their feces, which can contain the parasite Trypanosoma cruzi, the culprit behind Chagas disease. Chagas disease, also known as American trypanosomiasis, is a potentially life-threatening illness caused by this single-celled parasite. 31 named after the Brazilian physician Carlos Chagas who discovered it in 1909, the disease affects more than 7 million people worldwide, primarily in Latin America, but it's no longer just a tropical concern. 31 in the U.S., estimates suggest over 300,000 people are living with it, mostly immigrants from endemic regions, but local transmissions are on the rise. Zero the parasite enters the body when the bug's infected poop is rubbed into the bite wound, eyes, or mouth often unknowingly as you scratch in your sleep. But transmission isn't limited to bugs, it can also happen through contaminated food, blood transfusions, organ transplants, or from mother to child during pregnancy. 31. Now, why is this spreading in the US? Climate change plays a big role. Warmer temperatures are allowing these bugs to expand their range northward. 18 traditionally found in the southern states like Texas, Arizona, and California, Kissing bugs have now been reported in 30 states, including unexpected places like Colorado and Tennessee. One A recent study from UCLA Health confirms that Chagas is now endemic in the U.S., meaning it's established and transmitting locally. Zero in Florida, for instance, kissing bugs have set up shop in homes, leading to new cases. Four California has seen a surge, with parasitic infections from these bugs confirmed in Southern California and even the Bay Area. 38 Texas A&M reports that about 55% of kissing bugs there are infected with the parasite. 5 And in an alarming twist, wildlife like raccoons and opossums are reservoirs, helping spread it further. 18. As of September 2025, at least 8 Americans have contracted Chagas through local bugs, prompting calls for the CDC and WHO to recognize it as endemic. One ACDC study from August 2025 highlights that species like Triadoma gerstachery are widespread. Two in Los Angeles alone, health officials confirmed about 180 cases between 2019 and 2023, many potentially local. 19 The Times of India reported just hours ago that the bug is spreading quietly. Now confirmed in over 30 states, and early detection is crucial to avoid fatal heart attacks and strokes. 6. Florida's University of Florida noted new evidence of transmission in July 2025. 7. And in the Rio Grande Valley, Baylor College of Medicine warns of a rise in tropical illnesses like this. 9. But what does this mean for you? Let's talk symptoms. Chagas disease has two phases, acute and chronic. 31. The acute phase kicks in shortly after infection and lasts about two months. Many people, up to 70 to 80 percent, show no symptoms at all, making it a silent invader. 31. When symptoms do appear, they're often mild and flu-like. Fever, headache, swollen lymph nodes, muscle pain, fatigue, and difficulty breathing. 31. A telltale sign is the Romania's sign, a swollen eyelid if bitten near the eye, or a skin lesion called a chagoma at the bite site. 
31. In rare cases, especially in children, it can cause more severe issues like heart inflammation. If untreated, the disease slips into the chronic phase, where the parasite hides in the heart or digestive muscles for years, even decades. 31. About 20 to 30 percent of infected people develop serious complications. Cardiac issues like arrhythmias, heart failure, or sudden death. Digestive problems such as enlarged esophagus or colon leading to swallowing difficulties or constipation, or neurological disorders. 31. The Mayo Clinic notes that without treatment, up to a third suffer cardiac alterations, and one in ten develop digestive issues. 10. It's often called the silent killer, because symptoms only show when it's too late, think heart attack or stroke out of nowhere. 13. The risks are escalating, with over 10,000 global deaths annually from Chagas, the U.S. is seeing more cases due to travel, migration, and local bugs. 31. In California, between 70,000 and 100,000 people may be infected, many unaware until a cardiac event. 19 dogs are also at risk. Texas A&M reports young pups dying from acute infections and older dogs developing heart failure. 19 wildlife spillover is a concern. A Stat News article from August 2025 details how raccoons are increasingly infected, potentially due to climate change. 18 pregnant women face congenital transmission risks, affecting 1-10% of babies born to infected mothers. 31 And with no vaccine, the disease burdens healthcare systems, costs for chronic care are sky high. 31 Diagnosis isn't straightforward. Blood tests detect the parasite in the acute phase, but in chronic stages, serological tests for antibodies are used. 31 The CDC recommends screening for those from endemic areas, with exposure to bugs, or with family history. 21 Treatment Good news, it's curable if caught early. Drugs like benzenidazole or nifertimox kill the parasite in the acute phase and can prevent progression in chronic cases. 31 But side effects are common, and efficacy drops over time. 31 For advanced cases, managing symptoms with pacemakers, surgery, or heart transplants is necessary. Prevention is your best defense. First, bug-proof your home. Seal cracks, use screens on windows, and keep lights off at night to avoid attracting them. 31. If you spot a kissing bug, don't squash it, capture it for testing. 5. Use insecticide sprays around your property, especially in rural or wooded areas. 31. Sleep under bed nets if camping in affected regions. 31. For pet owners, regular vet checks and keeping dogs indoors at night. 9. Blood and organ donors are screened, reducing those risks. 31. Pregnant women from endemic areas should get tested to prevent congenital spread. 31. And hygiene in food prep. Avoid raw juices or meats that could be contaminated. 31. Experts are sounding the alarm. The WHO's World Chagas Disease Day in April 2025 highlighted U.S. cases, with stories like, the kissing bug doctors of Florida, noting over 300,000. Affected here, 14 News Nation reports the parasite enters via bug feces, urging vigilance. 11A University of Cincinnati study from June 2025 targets the parasite's life cycle for new treatments. 12 and social media buzz, like X posts warning of cluster bites that itch and swell, shows public awareness is growing. 29. In Colorado, officials note their bugs can spread it but aren't efficient. Still, caution is key. 17. The CDC's Emerging Infectious Diseases Journal in September 2025 calls for reclassifying the U.S. as endemic pushing for better surveillance. Two only eight states make Chagas reportable, but that's changing. Two, wrapping up, the kissing bug spread is a wake-up call. Chagas isn't just, over there, it's here, insidious and potentially deadly. But knowledge is power. Know the signs, protect your home, get tested if at risk. If you've been bitten or have symptoms, see a doctor pronto. For more on this and other health stories, hit that subscribe button like, and share. Comment below if you've encountered these bugs, we'd love to hear your stories. This is, host name, for America Today News, signing off.